I think as a human being, we have um, this tendency of judging people, you know, based on stereotype or like uh, wrong ideas. And I think as an artist, it was important for me to uh, to question, you know, this uh, the misconception sometimes that we can have on people or communities uh, based on our own judgment or own perception. And as an artist, I think I have this responsibility of, of raising those topics, you know, not saying that I'm, I'm going to solve anything, but having the goal of trying to touch, you know, touch the point and also influence at least one person who will be, oh, yeah, this project or like the, this art piece and this project as a, as a full package, I would say, allowed me to, uh, to see life in a different way. What I enjoy the most is, is the fact that I, I use art to enter, you know, places that I'm supposed not to go. And the result actually, it's, uh, it's meeting people that are also not supposed to meet and that have like so many maybe misconceptions about and that at the end we just became friends. Yeah, this is a certain way of, of spreading love, I believe. Art has this power actually to allow people to connect with one another. I use art today as a pretext to, yeah, to meet people, to live this amazing human experience, to highlight a community, to, to speak about a cause that is close to my heart. I think every artist has this utopic idea that with art they might change the world or I don't know, at least that's the way I look at it. But I have hope and I really believe that and I really believe in the power of art as a tool, you know, to, yeah, to change perception, to change uh, society and, uh, and I try to work toward this. Words have so much strength and power. And I think for me, like using word allows me to express so many emotion, you know. The scope of the emotion that you can use with word are like way stronger for me than images. Working with script and working with letters and words and literature has uh, given me this infinite possibility of expressing myself. When I look at the world and the way we live together, I feel like everything is so standardized. The way we dress, the way we eat, sometimes the way we think, and also sometimes the way we express our emotion. You know, and uh, I discovered a few years ago that there was 50 degrees of love in the Arabic language. So like 50 ways of describing love. And, and I questioned myself, I said like, if there is 50 ways of expressing love, in Arabic, I'm sure there is more than 50 ways of expressing love in different culture, you know, and uh, love was always a subject uh, that I was talking about or using in my, in my work. It was central in so many art pieces that I created, uh, sometimes in a direct way, sometimes in an indirect way. But I think just the fact of entering communities and meeting people sometimes that you don't know and, and deciding of creating an art piece uh, in their homage or to talk about something that they're close to, for me, was a way of showing love, you know, and, uh, and that's what I wanted to, uh, to speak about in this show. Actually, this exhibition in this weird time that we're living today is just a prelude to a, to a bigger project that I'm planning to do, hopefully, when everything uh, gets back to normal, uh, a way to go back and meet communities and meet people around the world.